Mapping the Neighborhood Time to Think Make a list of important landmarks that you come across on your way from your house to the nearest shopping complex. Map A map is a drawing of a particular area such as a country, a city or a colony which represents different places of that area and their connectivity with each other. The study and the process of making maps is called cartography. The person who makes map is called a cartographer. Importance of maps Maps are very useful to us in the following ways. We can easily locate the places where we have to go. Maps save a lot of time. We take the exact and the shortest route to reach our destination. Types of maps Maps are drawn differently to highlight particular features of a place. Relief maps show the shape of the land. Political maps show countries, their capital cities and their borders. Thematic maps tell us interesting facts about different regions. They give us information about the weather and climate of a place or about the plants and wildlife that grow and live in a place. Maps like this need a key. Picture maps tell us a story without a key because pictures are used in them instead of symbols. Weather maps use symbols that can be understood anywhere in the world because they are like pictures. Nitty gritty. A globe is the map of the earth shown on a sphere. Nitty gritty. An atlas is a collection of maps of the earth or places on the earth. Language of a map. Different types of information are shown on a map. It needs to have a language. The language of a map is same all over the world. It is made up of 1. Directions 2. Colors 3. Signs and symbols 4. Scale Directions Maps are drawn using the four fixed or cardinal directions. They are north, south, east and west. On a map, east is always on the right. West is on the left. North is at the top and south is at the bottom. An arrow or compass with the letter N on the map will show you where north is. Besides these four directions, northeast NE, southeast SE, southwest SW, and Northwest NW are the four sub-directions. These intermediate directions make it easier to find places between the major directions. Colors in maps. In the maps, different colors are used to show different places. Colors, places, blue, water bodies like oceans, seas, rivers, lakes, green, Plains, yellow, highlands, dark brown, mountains and hills, white, snow, signs and symbols. Maps contain symbols which help us to identify places, boundaries, roads, bridges, etc. Symbols tell us where places are in a quick, simple and efficient way. For symbols to be efficient, they need to be commonly understood. Some of the symbols in general acceptance are given below. International boundary, state boundary, metal road, unmetalled road, bridge, railway line, dam, well and tank, stream, forest, capital city, temple, church, mosque, post office, PO, telegraph office, TO, Police Station, PS, Rest House, RH. Important signs and symbols used in maps. Scale. We cannot measure the distance between two places in a sketch or a plan. However, we can accurately measure the distance between places on a map. A scale on a map helps us to find out the distance between two places. For example, in a map, 
2 cm may be equal to 200 km. Thus, using this scale, we can measure the actual distance between two places. Legend A legend is a small box in the map which shows us a list of symbols that are used in the map and what each symbol represents. Nitty gritty A sketch is a rough drawing of a place where the measurements are not accurate.